turn your shirt on, man. Fed <laughs> <laughs> perfect. Merry Christmas, everybody. So you, so you guys are all students here at the Learning Exchange, yep. right? Um, so can you can you start off uh, with you, Vachia? Where you can tell us about your experience, what you're currently learning at the moment. I'm learning. I'm trying to get a high school diploma. Yep. To go to a DOP. Yep. Trade school. Okay, so you're yeah. trying to get into trade school. Yeah. All right. Excellent. And so, how long have you been doing that for, and, and how long have you got to go? I think for two years, I think. Okay. All right. Okay. Great. And you, Eric? I'm gonna get my um, high school the, the diploma, and I'm gonna go to uh, college. Fantastic. So, college as in CJEP and then university. Yeah. Yeah. And what what do you want to study? What's your areas of choice? Uh, computers. And all right. Yeah, because I want to become a uh, video game creator. All right. So. Fantastic. And yourself, Nora? Same. I'm trying to get my high school diploma and go to CG. Okay. Excellent. And, and what area of study do you like? Uh, programming. Programming. All right. Fantastic as well. So, Darlene, tell us again. Uh, so, these guys were all involved in the Upskills program. Yeah. Could you just quickly share with us what that program is all about? Yeah. So, it's Upskills and it's from ABC Life Literacy. So, it's a program where uh, the students are working through uh, talking about soft skills. So, things like accountability, motivation, teamwork confidence. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a two-hour program, each workshop or each session. Students get their own book and uh, we work through it. It's interactive, so there's discussion and some activities that we do and um, we relate it not only to work but also to school. So how these skills can help you in life at school and uh, how to make changes mm -hmm. to uh, use the skills to your advantage. I'd be curious to know which of the up skills maybe had, uh, I don't know, that you thought you were going to benefit from the most, or if there's anything that you're going to take away from the up skills workshops. The attitude, the attitude one. Okay. So. Okay. So you feel that's something that would definitely benefit you to to work on and to change my attitude. Okay. Making me change my mind, how to treat people, how to think. Right. And, and having put that into life at the moment, have you seen some positive changes? Have you seen that you're slowly, slow, slowly, slow? Yeah. It all takes time. Yeah. yeah. Oh, of course, 100%. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, I'm going to use that strategy, or this is going to help me a little bit? No, not really. No? No. Do you find they're helpful? Yeah, I find they yeah? helpful. So just in a very general sort of yeah. way? Yeah. So uh, prior to exams, the students uh, did the, the two-hour one on confidence. So we we're talking about uh, confidence and uh, I, I thought the motivation one was, was interesting and, and accountability. I find um, we need to learn about accountability a lot of times <laughs> and take ownership of how we're progressing and the work that we're doing and the effort that is put in mm -hmm. and so I think from all of them I think that the students can take away a little something from each one mm -hmm. and really make a connection to certain aspects of each of the workshops so whenever we can we also sometimes put on a workshop in the in the class uh, for example we had Mona was in recently and um, Mona talked to the students about vaccinations, the importance of getting vaccinations. Uh, we had a little bit of a debate on things as well and learned about um, polio. And um, we also looked at flu shots and, you know, different things. But Mona had written a story um, and um, it's in the book Walking Fingers and it was her story and so everybody got to read her story and then when she came in they got to ask her questions about her life and I think they especially liked the fact that she met her husband on a bus. She fell onto his lap and so we were able to send her a text and ask her how long she'd been married. The students were all curious, you know, uh, about her life and so we were able to get immediate feedback, you know, asking the author, you know, right. questions. Yeah. 
You're looking to get into the trade? Yeah, trade school. Uh, so what, what specific area of trade would you like to, to create a career in? Carpentry. Carpentry? Yeah. Oh, okay, excellent. So uh, building, building yeah. uh, homes? Yeah, building oh, home. okay. And inside the home. Inside the home? Yeah. In interior? Okay, great. Excellent. And you, you mentioned video games. I know we've spoken to this, but about your goal of uh, becoming a, a, a game creator, is that? Yeah, video game creator, yeah. Okay, all right. And computer, computer skills as well. Um, what, what specific area did you mention? Programming. Programming, okay. If I said, what would be your dream job? Like your, if you could work for any company, uh, create your own business, um, work for anyone or do anything, what would be your dream job or career? It's a hard question. It's a hard question, huh? Yeah. So, like nobody knows what's gonna happen with their life in the future. Sure. So, <laughs> sure. I don't know what to say. It's it's a tough question to ask, yeah. right? But but okay, let me ask you this: If you couldn't fail, right? If you if there was no such thing as failure, and you could actually choose exactly what you wanted to do. Um, In the yeah. future? Yeah. Doctor. Surgery okay. doctor. Alright. So that that would be... My dream. That's a bit different than carpentry. Yeah. <laughs> I want to do carpentry, yeah. but my dream job is a doctor. Of course. Okay. Alright. But hey, you could be you could be both, right? Yeah. I mean, you know, you could, be, you could have carpentry and then be a doctor with a carpentry license. Or whatever. <laughs> Okay, so that's interesting. I, I, I didn't expect to hear a uh, carpentry trade school and then get into, yeah. into the doctor. Okay, so that could be something. Because I like doctor stuff a lot. Okay, all right. So what what type of doctor? Like uh, working with adults or children or any any a general doctor or a uh, surgeon? For kids. For kids? Yeah. yeah. Wow, interesting. That's, uh, that's interesting to, to hear. All right. And you, Eric? Well, well, what would be your dream career, job, company to work for? Uh, Rockstar Games. Rockstar Games, okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Are they are they based out of Montreal? Uh, or the US or? US. Yeah, yeah. but there's, a, uh, there's one in Toronto. Okay. So. Okay. Yeah. There is one in Toronto. Okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Beautiful. And, and what specific part would you be working on at the company in terms of would you be creating the games or yeah, creating, or creating the games? Yeah. So from everything or, well, or audio, visual. Well, I would like to create the games, and I would also like to like do like voice acting for the games. Okay. There you go. All right. It's, it's fine. All right. So Nora, based on what you <laughs> is, there, is there anything that you uh, maybe engineering? Okay. So that would be your dream engineering yeah. and. Computer engineering, or, or yeah, yeah, okay, okay. It's a it's a tough question because I mean, like, I have to ask myself, what yeah. would I do? You know, like to, to hear what you guys are to doing so that you can go on to the next phase in, in your life. So keep up the good work. Keep up the good work and happy holidays, man. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> Turned off his reindeer, so that's uh, that's. I'm trying to save cut. the battery. <laughs>